Oh boy, it's Crystal Lady Fella time again. That's right, I found another crystal peddler. Well, no, she has the crystal thing in her name. And she does do crystal stuff. But, you know, th th this time she's part of the legendary Covidiots. So, you know, you got some quality derp on your hands here. Oh, and actually it was Bendale who threw it in my Discord. So... Oh, no, the, f the first one that actually threw it in there is a S2000GT, no. our favorite car person. Hey, guys. Hi. Well, that sounds about as genuine as her uh, crystals. Here in Crystal Clear here, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're outside enjoying the weather. Do not stay at home, okay? Yeah, so as you, as you understand, this coffee idiot is a legend. She's legendary. Stay home, people, you know. Uh, do the, the... For fuck's sake, lady. Why, why, why? Uh, I'd like to cl uh, clarify some things up real quick, real fast. Well, as long as they are crystal clear. Number one, never, ever in any of my videos did I say viruses were not real. Well, I'm not saying you did, but you did imply that COVID-19 is nothing more than a ruse to set up some kind of new world order because 5G has to be introduced to introduce flu-like, you know, let her do the word thing. I like it when they dig their own hole. So this is bullshit. This is really bullshit. What's happening here is they're trying to introduce a new world order, okay? And they're using this CO, the, the COVID as a cover-up because when they deploy the 5G, that is pure radiation, it causes flu-like symptoms and even cancer and leukemia. Yeah, well, you know, that, that kind of implies you are uh, not taking COVID-19 coronavirus too seriously. Now do ya? Also, I do believe the official term is shit. Now, the more astute among you, I uh, probably has uh, seen something different about her right now, because she is wearing a shower cap and uh, implying something which I, I seriously doubt here. Hi guys, um, here in Crystal Clear here, and as a medical professional... Now, of course, I can't be sure about this, but I have some feeling that this is some kind of medical cosplay. As a medical professional... This is an egg. Dr. Kent, the science jet! Lab coat and everything, yeah. I mean, this so-called healthcare professional doesn't even know how to say COVID-19. And I've read some comments on the actual video that I found on BitChoot because your video was removed from YouTube for obvious reasons. But there are people in there who question your usage of medical jargon. Now, all of that combined raises a lot of red flags there, lady. So maybe, just maybe, you show us some credentials there. Okay, I went back looked at my videos i i even actually created vi uh, videos to show you how a virus can enter your body and the only way that they can enter is through a vaccination <laughs> so you as a medical professional are implying that people can't get sick from airborne viruses so explain to me how people get sick from the common flu for instance when they don't get an injection but they still get sick from having contact with people who have the flu so you know you as a medical professional should probably uh, be able to answer my very important question here this is an egg now i said the corona virus cover-up is a fake way to introduce martial law and to bring in the new world order and a cashless system. That is what I said. Ah, so you're even more stupid than I already thought you were. <laughs> I love it when they dig their own hole. <laughs> How deep is your hole? Uh, wait, uh, I mean, I, uh, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. I mean, seriously, implying that 5G is able to cause cancer. When in fact these 5G towers don't even have enough power to, you know, penetrate a wet piece of paper. Heck, the higher the frequency, the lower the penetration power. So shut your hole or dig your hole even... Oh my god, the innuendos are off the chart. I don't know where people... I've seen so many people say so many things that I did not say. I did not say. I'm like, are you for real? People just created all kind of things up and it's it's crazy yeah well apart from that uh, you know being a thing that people might take you out of context i am not taking you out of context because you talk the dumb shit and i'm gonna dick for the dumb shit and oh boy wh what do you mean what do you
do you mean she's not a crystal peddler? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hearing crystal clear. Oh, I see what you did. That's actually pretty clever. Too clever for you. See, I was not prepared for... Housekeeping jeans. I'm not prepared for that. Or choice of words. I did not say a virus is not real. I said the only way for you to get a virus is that through a vaccination. Yes, and this is where I... <laughs> well, obviously anyone would question uh, you being a... Medical professional? It is a fact that when you get in contact with people who have some kind of flu virus, you will catch it. So no, it's not only flu vaccination. Now, the severity of your symptoms is entirely dependent on your vaccination or your immune system. Now, guess what, lady? We don't have a vaccination for COVID-19. So in this case, it is entirely up to our own immune system. That's why people who have a bad immune system are at risk. And that is exactly why we need to do the social and physical distancing. The mere fact you... As a medical professional don't understand this or actually want to peddle some kind of agenda about the new world order in 5g uh that tells the entire story doesn't it you know have you noticed something i'm getting really pissed out as these fucking go idiots what the hell is wrong with these people why why do you exist and what's the deal with the shower cap thing are you trying to do this is an egg oh for fuck's sake yes that is an egg they have to inject it into you then i said corona was a weak cold that's what i said with a survival rate of 98 percent huh how strange because the actual mortality rate is around 3.4 percent and let's see here 100 minus 3.4 hmm you know that that doesn't really sound like 98 percent survival rate that sounds more like you know 96.6 .6. not to mention that i actually have heard actual medical professionals say that coronavirus is a lot more deadly than the actual goddamn common flu Oh, for fuck's sake, lady, shut the hell up. You, you know which hole you need to shut? Your woo hole. And when I also said they were lying about the results, they were lying about the testing, because here's the thing, if I'm a coroner or a medical examiner, it takes weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to get back your toxicology report of what killed you. Yeah, but you know, they can take a genetic footprint of the virus that is infecting you when you are actually admitted to hospital, so you are set on the ICU ventilators. But hey, you... As a medical professional... Should know that. Coronavirus has only been out three weeks. Did you just say three weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Oh, shut the hell up, lady. So it says here you uploaded this video on the 6th of April 2020. By then, we already knew about the bloody virus even as early as January. The first case was actually recorded over in China on the 17th of November 2019. Three weeks. This is an egg. <laughs> you know where you can stick that egg? Uh. Okay, I promise you, no medical examination has came back that fast. I don't know, something just doesn't add up. So you you claim to be a medical professional uh, in a hospital uh, working with COVID-19 patients and uh, apparently this video is now removed and now you're just sitting there in your normal clothes and you're a liar, aren't you? Well, of course she's a liar. And of course, uh, I was waiting for that one. All I'm saying is, the things you say don't add up, and you clearly have no idea what you're talking about. Not to mention, you get all the dates wrong, and all the data wrong, and all the percentages wrong. So here we go, miss. Medical professional? Yeah. <laughs> Cosplaying is not the same as actually being an expert in the field. So they're lying. Yes, they're lying about the results. They're lying about the numbers. They're lying about the deaths. No, I promise you. Oh, the ever-elusive they are lying to us. You know, you might want to substantiate your claim there, instead of just, they are lying to us. Now, what they are doing is saying that people that die every day, and this is where people need to be held accountable for, okay, is when someone passes away, they label it a fake death. Like when Hillary Clinton put two in your head and they call it a suicide like that okay so uh if you actually have some uh, data backing up your claim there you know you might be able to uh oh i don't know prove it right 
Because that's just, uh, if you want to be a whistleblower, you might as well have some damning evidence there. But all I'm hearing right now is argumentum at because I said so. And yes, you are correct on something. People like you need to be held accountable for the things you are saying. Because the stupids in the world are humanity's biggest baggage. Eventually, they might even be our downfall. Mostly because they are all the arrogant, short attention span, entitled little brats. Which don't seem to understand that if you are infected with the virus, that doesn't mean you're going to die or even show symptoms. But you can infect other people around you, which will in turn infect other people around them. You know, it's kind of a chain reaction. And when the wrong people get it, you know, the ones with a bad immune system, they will die in all likelihood. And now, especially with us flattening the curve right now, we are at the moment that we are almost flattening the curve so it goes back down. But this is the critical moment in flattening the curve, because people, in general, are now going to get all antsy. Oh, look at that, it's not as bad, so we're gonna go play outside again. We have become more childish in the last decades, it's really strange. You can't just say someone who had a heart attack died of corona. Oh, look at the conspiracy boil point here. Now, you know, there is also a possibility that someone who has the coronavirus and is on a ventilator with a bad heart is going to die of a heart attack. That is a possibility. But they were admitted to hospital in the ICU because of corona, not because of the heart attack. So if that is what you're saying, no, people will still write it off as corona death. But the thing is, you are implying something else, aren't you? Everyone who dies in the ICU right now will be chalked up on the board of corona deaths. Now, if that isn't a paranoid, conspiracy, broken-minded work, I don't know what it is. And this is entirely based on you not producing any data and just saying things. Because that is exactly what conspiracy theorists will do. Now I have asked you for the evidence, so <laughs> in your next video, if you come across this one, might want to produce some evidence, lady. Because from my perspective, you seem to be doing it for the clicks. And if that is the thing, you are even more disgusting than I thought you were. That's what I'm saying. That's what I mean by this is a fake cover-up. That's what I am saying. Now I'm not one to call people out for this kind of thing, but that sounds like a double negative kind of thing. You know, a fake cover-up. So it's not a cover-up because it's fake, you know. Uh, maybe I'm splitting hairs, but hey, you were wearing a shower cap with your hair outside your shower cap. That's really, uh, you know, uh, hygienic when you're working with Corona. Uh, just saying. Okay. I did not say viruses wasn't real. I even went back and showed you where viruses came from. I even went back and showed you how viruses get into your body. I even told you that viruses can't, viruses are not serious enough if they're not injected in the body. Well, viruses in general do have a different survival rate on surfaces. However, the main thing that is important isn't if a virus is able to survive for hours or even days. It's usually on smooth surface like plastics or steels. Now the good thing is, the longer it's able to survive, it's also detrimental to its contagiousness. And you know, the big problem is that most things we have available in supermarkets have this smooth surface of plastics and steels ranging from the products to the shopping carts and you are still on about it only being possible to infect someone using an injection please listen to my videos very carefully if you get angry over what i say it's called cognitive dissonance well that is not what cognitive dissonance means now does it lady my word you don't even know how to word the mere reason we're getting pissed off at videos like this is because you are basically inspiring the idiots, the actual cove idiots, which you are actually part of it for doing this. They will go out and ignore the precautions we have to take to stop the spread of this frigging pandemic. That's why we're getting pissed. And as a matter of fact, just fire the face punch projectile. I mean, seriously, she needs one. Be careful of the information that you spread, because you're not listening properly. Well, shit, the irony of that statement is just off the chart now, isn't it? Alright, all I'm trying to do is stop martial law. All I'm trying to do is stop the New World Order. All I'm trying to do is stop 5G from killing you. 
It just sounds to me that you just woke up one day and started a YouTube channel to spread these lies and jump in on the hype and the clicks. That That is exactly what it sounds like. Because when they turn the 5G on, they're going to label your death as Corona. Because they turn the 5G on, they're going to label your death as Corona? Like I said, do you even English? Do you even word? Do you even? And that's not going to be the truth. Now that's what I said. The fuck is she talking about? I also said that the 5G and 6G radiation that Trump is now pushing for no, no, what the hell is she talking about? 5G is now 6G, uh, it's just the fifth generation, it doesn't actually stand for 5 gigahertz. As a matter of fact, the 5G, the fifth generation, operates around 28 gigahertz. Which mostly means the response time is faster and there's more bandwidth available. Okay, how is he wanting fast, faster cell phone service? Well, none of the service previously worked before. I'm telling you, technology is trash. We used to have great technology, but how are you pushing for 5 and 6G technology when 6 million Americans are out of a job? So therefore, they're not going to be paying their bills. Nobody's going to keep their cell phone. You know, it's a whole lot of things that tie into this. Why in the middle of a pandemic are you pushing for better cell phone service? Oh, I don't know, because Trump is a fucking asshole who doesn't know what he's talking about and uses this coronavirus as some kind of political stance, which he's using as a political platform to promote his own ideas, and of course, you know, the up upcoming elections. Which is against the law, mind you. Because when you are president, you are not allowed to use the public office as a political platform. But the companies who are doing this are still essential personnel because the actual mobile towers are used for your local emergency services as well. So they have to be maintained. And while they're maintaining them, they can also, you know, improve the systems with newer technology. And what do you mean our technology is trash? You don't even realize you're using your phone uploading Full HD to YouTube. And sometimes even streaming Full HD to YouTube. Using your phone. You know, that technology wasn't available years ago. It has improved, so... Oh my god, you are really headache-inducing, aren't you, lady? So what the hell are you doing, cow? Cows are not allowed in the castle, or on the castle. Why are you on the castle? I said, the radiation, the signals that they're sending out, is gonna activate the virus once they inject it into you with the, with the vaccination. This is what I said. Uh-huh. You did indeed say that, and that only makes uh, it uh, more amusing that you are a bloody cove idiot. The mere fact that we have a higher frequency for 5G, which is kind of the fifth generation higher frequency, more bandwidth, less latency, that's the entire idea behind it. But it also comes with a really annoying little fact. A complete lack of penetrating power. So no. <laughs> that thing is not going to penetrate your skin. Maybe the upper layers of your skin if you're standing right next to the bloody antenna, basically hugging it. But that is about the extent of it. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, you are. And I, I'm just wondering why are people so mad that I'm trying to save your life? Yes, but telling people there's an entire worldwide conspiracy going on, actually fueling the paranoid, stupid people, going out on the street, infecting other people with the coronavirus. That's helping people and saving people's life, huh? Because once that cell radiation hits you, it's going to cause flu-like symptoms. Hmm, I don't know. I've been walking out in the sun and that thing blasts a lot more radiation our way than a bloody cell tower or 5G. You don't even realize this is non-ionizing radiation. It physically can't do the things you're talking about, so shut it. And then they're going to wrongfully label your death as Corona. <laughs> You know, sometimes I really wish my facepalm cannon and facepalm projectile missile launcher were actually a real thing, because these people need to be punched, and I want to target all these stupid idiots. Also, I just noticed something. It was not a typo, C-nut, as in the C-word. It is another kind of C-word, it's a COVID-nut. <laughs> I love it as 2000 GT. Also, could you stop driving around in my field? I have enough trouble with cow patties, and dinosaur prints, and dinosaur pa patties. I don't want to know about the dinosaur patties.
That is one big pile of shit. Or at least it got rid of the Nathans for a bit, but they come back smelly as well, so you know, there's that. Also, hearing crystal clear, I sentence you to become a jester in the Order of the Sillies. And I do hope you enjoy your stay. And as always, remember to tickle the bell or button around it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh, Stay at home, people.